let's develop an intuition about what ensemble model or ensemble learning is what ensemble learning is we will clearly understand in this one we will develop an intuition around it now this is also a term that you will come across very often in machine learning world and we will try to understand the intuition around it now what is ensemble learning it is actually a type of machine learning model that's what it is it's a type of machine learning model that uses multiple ml models to make the final prediction so whatever we have been doing so far we have been seeing so far your prediction comes from one single ml model ensemble learning in turn uses a lot of not just multiple a lot of ml models to come at the final prediction few popular ml or ensemble algorithms is random forest and gradient boosting very popular ensembles right so how does this work what's the general principle behind ensemble learning in general there are two very popular ensembles it is not limited to only these two but these two are the very popular ones bagging and boosting and bagging here is actually the short for bootstrap aggregation the b comes from boot bootstrap and aggregation agg comes from here bagging now in bagging what we saw in the previous slide a random forest forest is actually a type of bagging algorithm likewise gradient boosting is a type of boosting algorithm now what is the fundamental difference between these two in bagging you have a data you have the data set instead of what we have been seeing so far is from this data set we build one single ml model and this is going to give you the prediction this is generally how machine learning models work here also finally you will get only one prediction finally you will get only one prediction but this final prediction actually comes from multiple different predictions of machine learning models these are all different different machine learning models typically a lot of machine learning models will be involved here in this representation we have just five but when building say a random forest you will typically build say 100 classifiers or 100 different models or 500 models or even 1000 models these are all common numbers right going and building thousand different decision trees random forest is actually made up of decision trees thousand different decision trees and then using those predictions to come with the final prediction is not uncommon right so basically you build these many different machine learning models and each of these models will contribute to the final prediction let's suppose if this task is a classification task and you want to classify one single row one particular row in your data set as either one or zero if this is going to be the final prediction we want to make each of these models is going to come up with a prediction this model say might say this is one this row is one this could say this is zero this could say one this could say one and this could say zero all of these models give an opinion from these opinions whichever opinion wins right whichever prediction wins that prediction will be the final prediction right so in this case one wins one is the majority here isn't it likewise for regression this can be used for regression also likewise for regression suppose you are predicting the housing price the price of a given house say this model is saying is going to be ten thousand dollars likewise this is going to tell nine thousand dollars something like that everyone tells one one number the final prediction could either be typically be the mean of all these predictions or the median of all these predictions so that is the final prediction and that's typically how bagging works now bagging can be done in parallel all these predictions can be done in parallel right parallel you can build all these models and come up with the final prediction on the other hand in boosting while this is a parallel activity in bagging building the models is a parallel activity in boosting you first build one machine learning model this comes up with a prediction right then you try to improve that prediction you build another model another model and go and so on you keep trying to improve the prediction made by the original the earlier stage models you keep on making the improvements and finally you will have a prediction that is the general principle behind how boosting works so overall when we say an ensemble model it means a lot of different models are contributing to the final prediction that is the whole and the entire principle behind ensemble models